Hey guys, this is Eric18989 here, and this is the Krupp Tier 3 Premium. It definitely has a fun gun. This is a patron sponsored video. If you want to know more about the Patreon, go ahead and click in the link in the description. You can support the channel for as little as $1 a month. It's not much at all, but it's just a way for me to keep on putting content out there. So we'll move on with the review though. I was minding my own business in game. Uh, just you know, winning some battles. I happened to win seven, and I saw in my garage the Blitz Treasures event. And after my seventh win, I had a little red dot by my storage, and I clicked on it. And I clicked on the containers, and hey, I had two containers. And I, I did not get my hopes up. I have not had good luck with containers or chests or anything like that in the past. So I was like, hey, okay, some free boosters. Clicked on the first one. Sure enough, free boosters. Clicked on the second one, and this puppy popped out. And I was pleasantly surprised to see it because I've heard some pretty good things on the forum about it. And then I, I played it and I was even more pleasantly surprised. This thing has an amazing gun. It's really the exact same gun as the Ice Claw, SU-76 Ice Claw. It's not the exact same, but I mean, it's, it's, it's close. Exact same rate of fire, exact same high explosive penetration, exact same damage dispersion and aim time are like extremely similar difference is this has a lot less pen on the ap so it, it does trade that but it's it's a very similar tank to the ice claw the ice claw this su-76i is uh heavily armored for a tier three and it's turretless this trades the armor for a turret and it gives it a much more versatile gun because it's on a turret also, a cool thing about this tank is the gun has 12 degrees of gun depression. That's a lot. If you want to equip it, I'm just going to click on the ones that uh, that I would recommend if you want to spend the spare parts on. It is a fun tank. You, it, I don't think it would be a waste to put a little bit of spare parts into it, especially since they're cheaper. So these are my recommendations if you do choose to do that. But yeah, it has 10, I'm um, sorry, 12 degrees of gun depression. It doesn't have any gun depression over the back. It's much like the Leo PTA. If you see those bumps over the over the back behind the turret, the gun cannot depress down at all there. So it's just, you know, something to keep in mind. And it's also a heavy tank. Now that doesn't really say a lot because it does not have good armor at all. At all, at all. So it, it, it's a heavy tank in the fact that it has 500 hit points. So that's good. But as you can see, this is the gun of the SU-76i with HE. And the problem is, this is the front of the tractor here, of the, of the German Tier 3 Premium. And you can pen it anywhere with high explosive. And this is a heavy tank. So just because it's a heavy tank at Tier 3, don't think that it has really good armor. In fact, it has pathetic armor. But the tank really doesn't need that good of armor because as a heavy tank, it has 500 hit points, which is a ton in Tier 3. And also, as you'll see in a minute here, this thing goes a whopping 45 kilometers an hour. So it's actually very fast for a, a Tier 3 tank, period, let alone a heavy tank with 500 hit points. So you still need to treat it like it doesn't have any uh, hit points because you'll just do that much better in it because anything can high explosive you pretty much. Uh, it, 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 the armor is nothing special at all. It's a heavy tank in name only. This is my third battle in it. it. ended up being an ace tanker. And I wanted to put some content on this out early. Because if I got it in a crate, I wonder if uh, many other people will. I know some of these low tier premiums can really be given out in crates. So if you do get this in a crate, I want to let you know. It's a solid tank. It's a very solid tank. It's not an overpowered tank by any means, because as you just saw, anything can high explosive you. And the gun handling is not the best, as we'll see in here a couple times. But the gun handling is not the best, but it's a, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot. It's a very, very fun. And I'm, I'm cruising along. Look at that for a heavy tank. I'm going to tell my team to stay back here always do that in uh, low tiers. I always do that because oftentimes they just YOLO to their death and many of them will die in this anyway but at least I could do is try and get them to stay alive a little bit longer and leech some of their hit points off of them there. Turn around we get flanked and this is through the AP look at the hit skin and then I switch to HE and it's the exact same. So kind of a lucky one there, but that it tells you that HE pen there. It, it's it's almost the same as the AP in that situation. And 
Oh, here's a tip right here. Do you see that clan? That's a really good clan on the uh, the M3 light. It's a pretty solid clan. So I hope you have that description on where you know it shows not just the enemy's player names but it shows the enemy's clans and start learning what some good clans are because right now I've already made a mental note he's a priority target because he's got to be a pretty solid tanker to be to be in that clan that really helps you win battles when you know which targets to prioritize so putting the HE to work I get kind of a lucky one through here get a fire on him uh, it's my what third HE round sinking in this already and if you haven't noticed, I have not bounced a lot of shots at all. Uh, they're penning me. And my team is just about to fall apart. You know, they have two two of them dead already. And they're all still alive on the enemy. A couple of them are low health. But I'm going to let him ram me. He's a medium tank. I'm a heavy. Didn't really help him at all. And it's at this point where my team just completely crumbles. It's three versus six right now. And I think they're kind of going to get a little bit overconfident. And they're just going to rush me. I sink an AP into the side. And right away I'm going to back down right here. And I want to use that big hill to as cover so I can reload. You have to stay close to cover in this because it is big for a tier 3 and it does not have good armor. I should have used HE there in the side to just splash damage him, but I didn't. So, And then I see this BT come. And when I see him, he's been kind of a pest. I really want him dead. So I'm taking my time, sink my shot there, and I am not going to make the same mistake twice on this uh, light tank right here. I'm just going to switch to the HE, and I'm going to make sure I just hit him with it. Boom. Just taking my time trying to shoot, shoot whatever tanks uh, come at me, and I'm really scared at this point. The cruisers have a really good gun at tier 3. They do a lot of damage. And they have a really good auto loader, and I think that's kind of an underplayed tank. Uh, I remember when I did that line; that was one of my later lines that I did, and I had a ton of fun because it's got really good, really good gun on that. I really thought I was dead there because I was stuck in the open, but he didn't come out. He let me get to cover, and he let me reload my gun. And no matter what, he's kind of a two shot. He was at 300 and some hit points, so I went for the HE there because it's fun. <laughs> HE's a lot of fun in this thing. In a tier 4 battle, you definitely want to stay back. You want to stay close to cover more, uh, for sure. And my teammate cleared up the rest, so hey, that's the game. But yeah, in a tier 4 battle, definitely stay back more. I got the ace, uh, 1432 damage, 4 kills. It's definitely a fun tank. Once again, it's not an overpowered tank, but if you get this, don't turn around and sell it. Keep it. It's a very fun tank, and it's highly worth it. So I hope to see you guys, a lot of them, get get a lot of these these little tanks in the uh, chest. And hope you guys enjoyed the little review. Wanted to put some information out on it. This is Eric18989. Have a good one.